Hello and welcome to another community conversation, this time with Kyle Troy. You're not letting the closing stop you from continuing your education program for kids. No. I think you're doing some FaceTime, aren't you? Can you tell I us? I am, about? yes. I am doing every Tuesday and Friday. I have a little mini show just on um, different topics that have to do with the Long Island Sound ecosystem. And those are every Tuesday and Friday at 10.30 a.m. I saw one that you did on horseshoe crabs. Yeah. <laughs> and I learned how to tell a boy horseshoe crab from a horseshoe crab. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> there, everything's very interesting. I did, uh, I did mussels on Tuesday, and uh, a lot of people learned a lot, they said, from mussels. A lot of people think they're boring, but there's actually a lot going on there. <laughs> Tell us about some of the um, the, the Facebook uh, programs that you're going to have on Tuesdays. What's so Tuesday and Friday, each week's going to be different and it depends on the tide. I'm going and hopefully be able to go out um, on a kayak, show people different parts of the sound at, close by to me, like Otter Creek, um, some of the grasses. There's a lot of different uh, wetland grasses, salt marsh grasses out there. Um, like this Friday, I'm doing plankton. Uh, doesn't sound like a cool topic, but it actually, it's really, uh, it's one of my favorite. Cool. Yeah. So all different topics, birds. I'm gonna do a bird walk um, for Earth Day. I'm still working on that one. Each week I kind of try to come up with something new and fresh. Um, spider crabs, different crabs of the harbor, invasive species. There's a lot to talk about, so. I guess you're disappointed, and, and so are many of the people who come to the Marine Education Center. Uh, your your grand opening was supposed to be um, April 25, but yeah, yeah, it's not, rescheduled? Really, it's not rescheduled yet. There's no kind of end in sight at this point, so I have no idea. It's kind of it's it's a downer, um, but I'm trying to make the best of it and doing these shows, showing kids at least that you know once I open back up, there's going to be a lot to do. So. Um, what is it that you want people to know right now, besides that they can tune in on Facebook Live and um, see your programs, um, see your virtual programs? Uh, can they can they support you in any other way? Um, that's my biggest support right now. I do have a friends in the Marine Center. You could contact them, um, and we're we're trying to fundraise. They're trying to fundraise for a Shark Tank for the center. Obviously, it was postponed, um, so that always helps. But just the support for the show and when we open back up, come down and, and join us for the opening day and hopefully we get to have one and come see all the animals and learn about the Long Island Sound. It's very important that people know what their backyard is. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's funny because I've gotten people from all around the country asking if they could share the show. Um, so it's not even just the Long Island Sound, it's, your, it's the waterways, it's everywhere that people need to realize need to be helped and it's not just for the animals in the, the the that direct ecosystem it's us you know we eat a lot of these animals that I talk about how long has it been since the village has had a biologist as a uh, employee I've been here for about four years now yeah is it unusual do other communities have uh, professionally trained people uh, to take a look at the waterfront um, I'm not sure, actually. There's a, so I'm considered a naturalist. I've been a biologist for 14 years. They hired me on as their naturalist, which is all around educator, um, different kind of things. And I'm not, I know other communities have naturalists, not in this, um, not in this aspect. Uh, the communities around here don't have a marine education center like, like this. Well, I think we're fortunate in, yes. in the Marinick uh, to have you and to have the Marine Education Center. I know I've stopped in periodically and seen the tanks with the, the live creatures that, that kids can actually reach in and touch them, right? Yes, they can. Yeah, I have a big touch tank. And then that shark tank I was just talking to you about is going to be, I say shark tank, um, but it's sand sharks. They don't bite. So the kids could actually reach in and touch those as well. It's going to be a, a touchable shark tank. Well, I hope you'll come back when you're open and uh, give us an update and give us a, give, give kids a little preview of what they can do at the Marine Education Center. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you very much, Michael. And keep up the good work. All right, thanks. <laughs>